Oh, hello there. <laughs> I didn't hear you click the video. Well, come on in anyway. This is a Let's Play of Pokemon Black. And as you can probably tell, this is my first video on YouTube, so please be gentle. Sit back, relax, watch some crazy stuff. Who knows what's, who knows what's gonna happen? Anything could happen. I could burst into flames while recording this. You could burst into flames while watching this. Anything is possible here in the Pokemon universe. Um, as the title implies, this is a blind playthrough, and that is 99.8% correct. Um, as I've fought Sharon and Bianca, so, uh, after that though, I haven't even stepped foot outside the house. <laughs> like, um, so that, that's how blind this is gonna be. Um, I haven't played a Pokemon game after Diamond and Pearl, so all these Pokemon are gonna be new to me, which is awesome, I'm super excited, and hopefully you'll get to share my experiences with me as we go on this crazy adventure full of crazy dresses and crazy hats. Did you see those hats? They look like the, uh, the tops to baby bottles. What? Did she just walk? What is she? You know, I've seen this cutscene about maybe ten times trying to get this stupid recording to work. Trying to get the emulator up to snuff, so to speak. Um, I'm just trying to make it so it's not so choppy. But I've never really noticed uh, that little wall she walks through there. So I guess there's going to be like two different worlds in this one. Um, hi there. This, uh, this is Professor Juniper. She is a professor, as the lab coat would imply. And this is a Pokemon. And that's the English language. You're learning so much, aren't you? I know I will be. <laughs> Can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon they shoehorned in this one. There's a garbage one, I think. Like, it's just, it's just garbage. <laughs> like, that, that's, that's, it's claim to fame. Um, tell me about yourself. My name is Rodeo, and I am a boy. Yes, that is, that is right. Um, yeah, so, Rodeo. Spelled like it sounds. R-O-D-E-O. -E um, that's not my real name, of course. <laughs> my parents aren't that weird. Although, Wolfgang was a possibility at one point. And, uh, just like a true professor, she points this out to our best friends. Because, uh, where would we be in life if we didn't have instructors telling us who our friends were? Looks like we've got a case of the, uh, Professor Oak Syndrome. We don't know anybody's names. Um, befriend new people in Pokemon. It's the most important goal. Uh, alrighty then. Oh, that's right, yes, it is Autumn. It is Autumn in the emulator in, in the Pokemon game, and it is also Autumn in real life. So I wonder if uh, they'll be able to track time in this one as Professor Juniper just barges into my house. Pretty convenient though. Um, no longer are the days where you have to walk into a Pokemon lab to get your Pokemon. It's just right there on the table waiting for you. Yeah, we we can has Pokemon. Sorry, I really am. That's going to be the only, <laughs> the only internet reference, hopefully. Um, Meanwhile, Bianca is fashionably late. That's alright, Bianca. You can just, uh, you can have a Pokemon anyway. We all get one, because there's three. You you know, if, if you played any Pokemon game, you know how this works. You have the choice between three Pokemon, and, uh, honestly, out of any Pokemon game, because in, in the first generation, and, uh, I'm gonna try to not do as much as an old man ramble. I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to do that. But in the first generation you had Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. They were all really good choices. Um however let's let's take a look at the Pokemon, shall we? We have Oshawott, Generic Pig, and Stupid Stuck Up Snivy. So, uh, I don't know, Osh okay, first of all, his name is Oshawott. That's badass enough. And two, he's got a little seashell on his tummy. Like, how, how can you not like that? He's adorable. Get, get in that Pokeball, let's be best friends, and uh, let's, uh, let's take on the world. Yes, we did. And Bianca gets this Pokemon, whichever this Pokemon is. 
Okay, Charon got Snivy, so that means Bianca got Tepig. And look at that. Is that a Nintendo Wii on the floor there? That is shameless. That is shameless self-advertising, Nintendo. Anyway, this is our first... Um, the first of many Pokemon battles, hopefully. This is uh, going to be pretty straightforward, though. <laughs> Not too much strategy involved in this one. We're just going to be tackling... Tackling, tackling. Maybe a tail whip, but no promises. Um, yeah, hopefully later on we can uh, sort of develop a team, cover all our types. But as for now, we're just going to be running into our opponents full speed. Well, Bianca, unfortunately, you have little choice in the matter. Now this, this Pokemon really does remind me of Squirtle. It's cool. Hopefully, uh, if we get some freaking cannons, huh? That'd be nice. <clears throat> so, yep, um, you're probably never gonna guess what move I do. Yeah. It was a tackle! How about that? And we won. That is, uh, we're, we're one for one. The, the future looks bright. It really does. And we got $500, cash money. And my room is a mess. <laughs> Thank you, Bianca, for that wonderful idea of a Pokemon battle. We're not too smart. We're not too bright at 10 year olds. We, uh, we have Pokemon battles in enclosed spaces. On a, on a second story of a residential home, no less. Good guess, Sharon, though, heals their Pokemon. Sharon, Char I honestly, that's not even a name. That's like a plant you find in Africa. That, that was the pause button. <laughs> Whoops. All right, I found the pause button. It's, uh, it's alt, apparently. It's right next to the space bar, so I kind of like, I kind of fat fingered it, you know? Where I just gonna, ah, you know what I mean. It's like, uh, when you're driving and you fat foot your pedals and you brake and accelerate at the same time. Anyway, um, very relevant to Pokemon, I know. Uh, this is our second battle, it's Charon. Second verse, same as the first. You already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna be tackle, tackle, tackle. But we get to tackle Snivy this time, which is just, oh, I mean, it's gonna be like 10 times more satisfying. Cause there is not a single Pokemon that I hate more than this guy. I don't know what it is. I just do not like it. it he reminds me of uh, Trico but a more arrogant Trico. Like, a Trico that you wouldn't invite to a party. <laughs> that's the that's the best comparison I can give for you. Um, you know, let's, uh, let's mix things. You know, you know, actually, no, it's not. I was going to tail up, but then I realized that it would have been completely useless. Because uh, it's going to die in four hits anyway. There's number three. And as we all know, four comes after three, and three, four, shut the door, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> oh, yup. It's gonna be that kind of let's play. And there we go, that's our first level. Uh, well, some pretty evened out stats. However, it is only level six. It looks like he's gonna be a special attacker. Yeah, that, that was a Pokemon battle, and another five hondo. We got a thousand dollars, a thousand Pokebucks, a thousand <laughs> Hoenn Pesos, or whatever region we're in. Where the hell are you? You know, this is maybe why I should be reading text, because I don't know where they just went. Oh, they're, uh, they're having a chat with my mom, eh? Yeah. It's okay, mom, they just gave me a thousand dollars. We can just buy new furniture with that money. I guess Juniper's waiting for us. Uh, yeah, we gotta go thank her for the for the the free Pokemon. The first of many. And many more will be caught. On the net oh no. No no no. This is mom, we gotta put this conversation on hold. Only can have a ten minute video, so I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.